Hello everyone. This video is about the second part of introduction to HTML. In this video, we are going to see about paragraph, list, table and form. First, let's begin with paragraph. We'll start with creating a paragraph. The tag used to create a paragraph is P. You can have a look at the syntax given. Let's see a small example. As said before, we are using the tag P. When we run this program, the paragraph will be displayed as shown. The next thing we are going to see is about creating line breaks in a paragraph. For this purpose, we can use the tag BR. The syntax is a line followed by the tag BR. Let's now include the tag BR to the previous example. When BR is used, the output changes as follows. Next, we will see about adding headers to a paragraph. To add headers, we can use the tags from H1 to H6. H1 defines the most important heading and H6 defines the least important heading. Now, we are going to add the headers Java and Origin to the previous example. Let's see how the tags are used. On running the program, the headers are displayed along with the paragraph as shown. So these are the basics regarding paragraphs. Next, we'll move on to list. Have a look at various tags and their description. UL defines an unordered list. OL defines an ordered list. LI defines a list item. DL defines a description list. We will now see a sample HTML code to display unordered list using the tag UL, having apple and banana as the list items. Since the type specified is circle, the list items are preceded with circle. Similarly, we can create ordered list using the tab OL. Next, we are going to see about tables. We have to include the tag table. Then the various tags used are th, tr and td. tr defines a table row. TH defines a table header and TD defines a table cell. We will now create a very simple table. To create a table, we have to specify the table height, width and the border. Then, using the tag TH, we are going to create headers, name and age. We can specify the values for the table using the tag TD. Thus, the table with the specified values is being created. Cell spacing. Cell spacing is nothing but setting the space between the cells. The syntax is table, cell spacing is equal to value. Let us now try this feature for a spacing value 30. You can see the changes in the output. Cell padding. Cell padding is setting the space between the cell wall and the cell content. The syntax is table cell padding is equal to value. Let's see an example with the padding value 30. Now let's move on to forms. Forms are defined using the tag form. There are various methods by which we can give input to the forms. Have a look at the type and description given. Text. It is used to define a normal text input. Radio. It is used to select any one option of many choices. Submit. It is used for submitting the form. For defining the text input, the syntax is input type is equal to text. Now, let us create two text boxes for first name and last name.
The text boxes are created as displayed. For defining the radio button input, the syntax is input type is equal to radio. Now we are going to create radio buttons for gender. Using the word checked, we can select a particular option. Thus, the radio buttons are displayed. For submit button, the syntax is input type is equal to submit. A server side script should be specified to handle the submitted form. Form action is equal to action page.php. Now, we are giving the input as Mickey and Mouse. The forms could be submitted in this way. Thank you.